stormy space weather, giant sunspot R1944 is directly facing Earth and crackling with solar flares. Yesterday, January 7th, and 10 one class explosion in the sunspot's magnetic canopy hurled a CME in our direction. High latitude sky watchers shall be alert for auroras on January 9th, when the cloud is expected to arrive. NOAA forecasters estimate a 60% chance of polar geomagnetic storms. Aurora alerts, text, voice. The 10-1 flare that hurled the CME toward Earth also accelerated a swarm of high-energy protons in our direction. The effects of the proton fusillade are visible in this January 7th coronagraph movie from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO. The snow in this movie is caused by solar protons striking the spacecraft's CCD camera. A veritable blizzard of speckles develops as the CME emerges into full view. Indeed, many of the protons are accelerated by shock waves at the forefront of the expanding cloud. This ongoing radiation storm ranks as two on NOAA storm scales. It is rich in hard protons with more than 100 MeV of energy, which accounts for the snowiness of the SOHA coronagraph images. According to NOAA, passengers and crew in high-flying aircraft at high latitudes may be exposed to elevated radiation risk during such a storm. The source of all this activity is R1944, one of the biggest sunspots of the past decade. The sprawling active region is more than 200,000 km wide and contains dozens of dark cores. Its primary core, all by itself, is large enough to swallow Earth three times over. To set the scale of the behemoth, Kurzaman Ahmed inserted a picture of Earth in the corner of this picture he took on January 7th from the Langkawi National Observatory in Malaysia. More flyers are in the offing. The sunspot has an unstable beta gamma delta magnetic field that is likely to erupt again today. NOAA forecasters estimate an 80% chance of M-class flares and a 50% chance of 10 flares on January 8th.